So we come to our final performance. And for Valerie Condos Field, her Pac-12 gymnastics career will end here with Caitlin Ohashi on floor. And of course, history will always tie these two together. They're smiling at each other right now. And usually their last words before a performance, I love you. Caitlin Ohashi is the best performer in the country on this event. She has changed her music. All female artists featuring Tina Turner and Proud Mary. Well, if you ask her what Floor is all about, she says, joy. I want everybody to feel pure joy. And that's exactly what you feel when you watch her perform. She has the big difficulty opening with that unique double layout with the split in the middle. But what draws you in is right here, her personality. Five perfect tens this year, but that routine's been changed just a little bit. A lot of the same choreography, but we hear some different music. It doesn't matter, it's still fun to watch. And before Caitlin Ohashi even climbed those stairs, UCLA had clinched the championship. Utah just couldn't do enough on vault. The Bruins answered back. Kyla Ross's 10 had wrapped it up for UCLA. And then Hano and Ohashi put the icing on the cake. And for Miss Val, it's another championship. That's her 15th Pac-12 championship. And for UCLA as a school, 19 times they have won the conference title. Kaylin Ohashi, what was her score? 10. Again. UCLA just bagged its third 10 of the meet. 17 on the season. Chris Waller, left side of your screen. Randy Lane with his back to you. And Valerie Condos Field. Jordan Weber on the right. So there's all the coaches for UCLA all together in one place. And they're just all now sharing information. The scores they got, what they've accomplished. And for Valerie Condos Field, it's another conference banner. 530 wins seven-time national champion, 15-time Pac-12 champion. And for now and forever, Valerie Condos Field, the Pac-12 Gymnastics Coach of the Century.